Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. XRP is now up over 100% uh, since the United States elections ended on uh, November 5th, reaching yesterday morning $1.25. And XRP has pulled back a little bit since then, which isn't surprising. I, like I've been saying, XRP is not going to go up in a straight line forever. Uh, but it did hold above a dollar. The lowest it got within the last 24 hours, in fact, was $1.01. And at the time I'm recording this, uh, which, by the way, is 11.05 uh, a.m. Central Time, which is my time zone, uh, Sunday, November 17, 2024, XRP is currently $1.08. Now, the great thing about my strategy when it comes to investing is that no matter what happens, and I don't pretend to know what happens, especially in the short term, uh, it doesn't change what I do. I'm along for the ride, so I really enjoy tracking what's happening because I've got skin in the game. I enjoy watching what's happening in price action just as much as all of you. Uh, but the cool thing is, uh, you know, even if some of the analysts uh, are, are right, and they very well may be, uh, maybe we only hang out here for a matter of days and then we resume to the upside. And you'll see, by the way, that's going to be a recurring theme for many analysts in, in this video. You'll see many analysts think that, okay, so of course, you know, got to pause. Sometimes we get a little bit of a pullback, but uh, so many analysts don't think we're going to be going terribly lower. Um, but, but even if we do, <laughs> it's just going to be like a little pit stop. This isn't something where we're likely to have to wait you know, months to see additional exciting price action for XRP. As is frequently the case, when XRP gets going, oh yes, it really gets going. Uh, so, so we'll see here. But, you know, the idea of XRP just sitting on the sidelines this market cycle, it was always a stupid idea. Of course, the entire asset class moves in tandem, and so to think that a top 10 coin like XRP wasn't going to go with it was dumb as hell after it consolidated for the better part of a decade. It got legal clarity last cycle, and what, it's just not going to go now. That never computed. And so seeing it move to the upside and uh, silencing all the XRP haters yesterday, uh, rather glorious to see. So uh, I'll share with you plenty of perspectives in this video, but before going any further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, right? I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And by the way, uh, Bitcoin's still chilling here, $90,394 at the time that I'm recording this. Uh, of course, if it does take a spill to the downside, and some analysts think that it may, uh, I won't be surprised if XRP and most of the asset class moves in tandem with it. So it doesn't mean that XRP can't go lower, but it seems pretty clear, according to most analysts, that the, those important resistance levels of, you know, roughly 65 cents and roughly 75 cents, uh, we've broken through those. So th this is not a false breakout. I can't find a single analyst that I follow that tracks XRP that thinks that this might have been some sort of fake breakout. Nobody thinks that that I follow. So take that for what it's worth. Crypto Fear and Greed Index. You got to love this. 90 out of 100. So yes, the market, not surprisingly, is in extreme greed. But we can probably get a lot greedier. Despite headlines like this from Cointelegraph, I just got to mock this a little bit. Look at this. From Cointelegraph, XRP price retreats 20% after hitting a multi-year high. Is the top in. <laughs> what kind of fear mongering is this? You think that that's it for XRP this cycle? Well, let me tell you something. Unless there's a black swan event and the entire market crashes, no. I don't believe for a moment the top is in for XRP. You've got to be kidding me with this crap. It just moved up, like I said, over 100% since the election ended has a little bit of a pause, which every crypto does, including Bitcoin. It doesn't go straight up in a line without any stops. And then it pulls back a little bit, and they're asking if that's the end of it? Do they do this with any other coin? Is the top in? But of course, they've been putting fud out about XRP for years and years and years, so I'm not particularly surprised. I've seen it firsthand because you know what? This is I want to mention this briefly. Uh, this is kind of a special day for me because... Today is my seven-year anniversary as an XRP holder. That's right. November 17th, 2017, I bought XRP for the first time ever. And um, I've never sold a single XRP. I am stubborn. My job is to be more stubborn than everyone else on the planet and to be more patient. And I, I genuinely, I, I swear in my life, I am just as patient with XRP holding it for seven years as I was on day one because that's what it takes to invest. Even before I jumped into crypto seven years ago, that's how I, I treated my investments as it pertained to uh, legacy finance, investing in the stock market, buying a bunch of S&P 500 ETFs, basically. Uh, boring stuff, but it just works. And so despite whatever volatility I would see, I don't feel emotions, I don't get scared, I just hold. And so I applied that to crypto, and once you know it, since the crypto pie just keeps getting bigger, holding actually works. I just don't choose when it pops off. But that's also why I'm saying, like, whatever the price is when you're watching this, like, say it does drop below a dollar. I don't pretend to know. But even if it does, I don't care. 
I'm still going to be in excitement mode because we're in a bull run. It, 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 it'll just do that. So anyway, uh, and, and by the way, shout out, I, I read a, a bunch of the, the people that responded to this post that I've got on my screen where I was highlighting that I've been here for seven years now in the community. And um, kudos to all of you. Uh, some of you have been here um, for just a few years. Some of you have been here longer than me. And I, I read a bunch of these comments. Uh, kudos to you for being here and being just as stubborn as me, <laughs> because that is what it takes to find success here. And either you have exposure before the asset goes or you don't. And you don't, since you don't know when it's going to be, and most days it's just moving sideways or going down, uh, you know, you just you just can't worry about that. It just doesn't make sense to. But look what uh, chart analyst Dark Defender had to say, because he does not think that we're going to be moving sideways here for long. Uh, he wrote the following just this morning. I expect the correction lasts a few days, not weeks or months. It will be too short. XRP will continue the momentum. You might not believe this, and it might seem official, but it's not. We have a golden target of $13, which became crystal clear yesterday. And so it says melting process uh, will continue. Yeah, melt. it's a melt up rather than a melt down. That's for damn sure. But he's, he's one of the many analysts that I follow that says, oh, that was a real breakout. Like, that is what just happened. That's real life. That just happened. Th we're not going to stop. And to think that, could the t that's why Cointelegraph, and they're like, could the top be in? I'm like, you stupid little bitch. XRP, when it was getting attacked by the SEC last market cycle, made it to $2. And you think like we're not going to even do that? Are you insane? <laughs> Get the hell out of here with that crap. Freaking Cointelegraph. This is why we can't have nice things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here's a post from chart analyst E. Greg Crypto from this morning. Got an XRP USD chart. He says, XRP genuine wake up line. And so there's a trend line on the screen that he drew. And he wrote, the picture is getting clearer now. You can see what's happening and what's coming next. You didn't hodl, and this resonates with me for sure, you didn't hodl three, five, or seven years just to worry about small dips. This is much bigger than that. XRP could make a mega move without warning, leaving even the OGs behind. Okay, that is absolutely correct. And yeah, and I just happen to be one of those seven-year fellas out there, uh, literally today. Uh, happy anniversary to me, I guess. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, these little dips, they don't bother me. I think about all of the volatility XRP's been through literally for seven years. And in the face of all that, up, down, sideways, whatever, I've done literally nothing. Other than, of course, I mean, I accumulated for the first few years. Um, and I really did. I was dollar cost averaging in for a number of years. And then towards the end of that accumulation period, I did make a few larger purchases towards the end. And uh, my final purchase, I believe, was October of 2020. And I went crazy with it. It's still my largest individual crypto holding. And since then, I've just diversified further. And so I hold 42 different cryptocurrencies now. I got great broad exposure to the asset class that I'm very happy with. But XRP, I'm very happy. That's my largest holding. And I think it's just going to go absolutely insane. Like, it was fun to see what we, you know, the price action made yesterday. I think it's just going to go berserk. Uh, it's not going to catch me off guard if it does that, but it's going to surprise a lot of the people that just assumed it was dead because it hasn't had a new all-time high in almost seven years. And those people that think that, though, it's like, do you fail to acknowledge that it was under attack last cycle and it was artificially suppressed as a result? Like, do you just pretend that isn't a thing? Because XRP is the only top 10 coin by market cap that did not hit a new all-time high last cycle. Just a coincidence? It's the only one that was under attack by the SEC? Just a coincidence, though? No, I don't think so. Uh, then we had this from chart analyst Leb Crypto. He wrote, uh, initial targets hit, time for a pullback. It could be strong. Don't be shaken out easily. And so he was warning that. Uh, but even he, even if he's right, so say there is a pullback that's more notable than what we've had. So what? It doesn't matter. Everything has pullbacks and it's, it scares people and a lot of people panic sell. Uh, but uh, I am not Mr. Lettuce Hands here. <laughs> diamond hands for life, bro. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll sell when I'm, you know, sufficiently enticed to do so, but I won't sell like, unless it's worth way more than what it is right now. Uh, he also shared this though, another one from Love Crypto, and this is just from this morning. He said, uh, and this is XRP, of course, multi-year consolidation breakout is now confirmed. Powerful. I keep seeing that from every analyst and they're probably right. It's been a forceful breakout here. Uh, he does say the following though, key support is 94 cents must protect for bull continuation. And then he notes the next key resistances are a buck 60 and $1.96. Now it will be interesting because uh, once it gets close to that $2 range, you know, there's going to be something psychological in people's minds going on there because that was the peak last market cycle. But I'll not be surprised if it breaks through that. If you continue to see that melt up, if the, you know, I will not be surprised to see that in the least. 
Um, and, and I've seen that before. Like I've seen XRP behave like that, literally. And this tracking what analysts are saying, uh, I find it plausible. We'll just see what happens here. Here's a post from chart analyst Crypto Insight UK. XRP, aggressive price action will of course see pullbacks like right now. I do have a sneaking suspicion they won't last long though. When XRP gets moving, it's historically very aggressive and fast. I see now, I see no reason why this wouldn't echo the same. Yeah, history kind of rhymes with itself. He's right. That's what it's done in the past when it gets going. I'll not be surprised to see it continue. Um, then there's also this, also from Crypto Insight UK. This is from just this morning, a few hours ago, or a couple hours ago. Uh, the, uh, the, the strength behind the breakout for XRP gets me very excited. Holding above $1 today would be a fantastic second day and weekly close. In 2017, uh, our breakout week, it was plus 45%. The following week, and listen to this, folks. So again, the breakout week, plus 45%. The following week did plus 800%. Again, that's the 2017 cycle. Could we be in store for something like that? And so he says, uh, we close here and our breakout candle was plus 80%. What comes next? I don't know. But again, that's the great thing about my strategy. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. I'm not a chart analyst myself. Uh, I'm just a regular dude. There's nothing special about me compared to anybody else that's listening here. I'm just a member of the community. And I just hold. It's exciting to watch this, like I said earlier in the video, but it doesn't change anything regardless. And that's how you win. Have fun with this. Like, enjoy this as we, we move to the upside. But the strategy is even when you have dips, like, you just, I mean, at least if you're me, you do nothing. <laughs> Here's a post from uh, chart analyst Mikey Bull Crypto. Uh, he wrote this, and this is just uh, yesterday evening. If XRP pulls a 2017 rally, and by the way, I'll note that a lot of analysts say that this looks more like a 2017 style rally than a 2020 style rally. But he says, if XRP pulls a 2017 rally, then $9 to $10 is in view. My conservative targets are $3 to $5. Okay, Very, that's super conservative. I would be... Like, super shocked if that's all we see. And I would be disappointed in that, frankly. If we only go up to five bucks, that means that I will probably only sell like 5% of my XRP this cycle, and then I'll have to wait another several years till we have a new cycle. Uh, but in which case, if that happens, I'll just do that. You know, I, I don't get to control that. I need to be enticed to sell or I'm just going to hold. So that would suck. Um, but I'm very skeptical of that being the case. Uh, I, can you blame me, though? It's just, look at historic precedent. Like, how has XRP be behaved historically? And how have other coins at similar stages when a similar amount of money has been pumped into them, how, like what type of multiplier effect have they, can, they, can they have? And so I frequently look at uh, Bitcoin and ETH. I'm just like, well, they've, they've done this type of stuff. What, you, you say an XRP can't do it because reasons? So it doesn't mean it absolutely will or has to. But if I had to guess, unless we have some sort of black swan event and this whole thing falls apart, I just don't see how XRP doesn't a shockingly impress, like way more than that. And so the good news is Mikey Bull Crypto, he is with the crowd that says, okay, you could potentially see double digits here. So I just I, I just wonder if that's even conservative. I, I don't know. We're going to find out together. Uh, here's a post from uh, chart analyst Dom at TraderView2, XRP dominance. So this is the market cap XRP dominance percentage chart. And he wrote, fun fact, XRP used to own 31% of the crypto market. Even if it can achieve a third of what it did, it's trading at $5. Okay, well, that would be impressive. Now, I don't know what the dominance level is going to hit, certainly uh, higher than where it's at now. I mean, when he uh, posted this the other day, it was at, well, looks like 2.16% dominance. Um, I'm not expecting it necessarily to match what it did previously when it was at 31%, because at that time, there were probably like what? Because that's 2017, so like 1,600 cryptocurrencies in existence. How many are there now? Tens of thousands, you know, like, uh, I mean, tech, probably technically more if you count all the crazy nonsense meme stuff and it, it, some people like to throw NFTs and stuff in there, which I don't know if that's reasonable, but e either way, it's it's an insane amount of coins now. So for XRP to even have 2% dominance yesterday, that's really something. Now, it still can go pretty high potentially because money does cycle through. So XRP is going to peak somewhere and then people are going to take profits. And then a certain percentage of people that take profits are going to throw that into other coins in the market. That's that's what's done with every coin. Bitcoin, ETH, XRP, of course. Uh, but since that's the case, yeah, you can have a brief period where XRP has a really high percentage in terms of market dominance. I'll not be surprised to see that in the least. Uh, then we also had this from chart analyst Steph is Crypto. He says uh, XRP is perfectly respecting its long-term parallel channel. 
climbing steadily towards the $33 target. This breakout is the start of a move that's been building for years. Okay, so he's going strong with that low $30 uh, target in this case saying $33 I keep seeing that number from him 32 33 or whatever it is and um, I don't know if it's gonna hit that that's, that's pretty optimistic but I admit it's it, it's not necessarily it's plausible right like if, if you have a crazy amount of money flowing to Bitcoin it that, that much more will cycle through so certainly possible but you can see the recurring theme here this intense optimism from analysts and I'm telling you this is not what these analysts are typically saying on in, any given day if you just go back like the last several years, but this is the point where it makes sense for that they would be saying this. Like we are in a bull market, XRP has broken out, it has. So it's not surprising to be seeing all of this, uh, but any analyst worth their salt, they wouldn't literally be saying that it's, it's you know, imminent like at the bottom of the bear market, for example, you know, November of 2022, people with that are, are, you know, reputable. They weren't saying XRP's breaking out tomorrow or next week or next month. But they were saying, hey, it looks like the bottom's probably in here. It might make sense to accumulate stuff. That, that was reasonable. But this is the moment where it makes sense, and that's why I'm seeing all these analysts say roughly the same thing, even if they don't agree, you know, as far as what the, the, the peak's likely to be. Okay, that's fine. Re respectfully disagree on that. You, you all can do that. You're all analysts. That's fine. But the general idea of, yes, we have broken out and we're going much higher, that is consistent across all of the analysts that I follow. Um, you know, with, with I guess the only exception technically being Alessio or Stein, that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. So, I mean, e even the XRP haters are saying it's going higher. I've been highlighting that in recent videos in recent days, which is really fun to see, especially the ones that were saying XRP is going to zero. And then they put in like, there's one of them put in like $700,000 the other day or something so ridiculous uh, into XRP. And I'm like, <laughs> Uh, that, and that guy, I think it's his, he, he goes by the name of the, the Moon Carl. He's been around for like, I don't know, in crypto over a decade. He already made his crazy money from Bitcoin. He bought a Bugatti, you know, multi-million dollar car. By the way, the oil changes on that thing cost about $20,000. It's ridiculous. So he already made his money, but he's expanding it with XRP, which he said was going to zero, funny enough. <laughs> now he doesn't think it's going to zero, obviously. So anyway, whatever happens here, you guys are future people. You know more about the price action than me at this particular juncture in time. Either it goes up or it's trading sideways a little longer. And who knows? Maybe it does launch even later today. I don't pretend to know, but it doesn't change my strategy regardless. It's just fun to watch. So I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later today. But again, I really hope that you are having just as much fun watching this stuff as I, because man, what is most probable is that this is finally that opportunity for real where we get our life-changing wealth with having invested in XRP. And I've been waiting seven years, so I'm ready for it, but I will wait however long it takes, period. Because either I'm wrong and XRP goes to zero, or I'm right and it eventually hits a new all-time high. I'm gonna wait for one of those two things to happen. And we haven't had either of those happen, so I just hold. No matter what the time frame is, because I cannot control that. But I can control my reaction to whatever is occurring, and my response is, I do nothing. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.